no matter where I've gone, no matter what schools I've seen, no matter what jiu-jitsu players I've gotten to train with, everybody has their own take on everything. Now, I'm going to give you my own take on a very basic move that pretty much everybody learns maybe their first day sometimes, which is just the, the basic paintbrush on the cross side. Now, with JT on his back, and I go for the paintbrush, remember the way we set it up, if we're not using the Team Lord Irvin, uh, the Kimura transition to set it up, it's just a basic, if I'm here, I want to keep his arm locked up, and I like to use my, his elbow sitting on my elbow, I like to use my shoulder and kind of pin it forward. Notice how his arm kind of drops right there. I'm going to catch that wrist and grab onto my wrist. Now here's the thing about the paintbrush. 90 degree angle, I keep his hand on the mat, and the idea is I want to take his hand, like it's a brush, and paint a line from here, and not down, but straight towards his ribs. So from here, I just want to pull his elbow down like this. Now, with some guys, when they're super flexible, if you don't have a good grip and you're just like this and you're just going, you're going, you're going, they'll just keep kind of fighting in there. You see their elbows keep getting twisted and twisted and twisted, and it's just going to be a never-ending battle. But I'm going to give you my own little twist that Master Lloyd's taught me just how to finish this a lot faster. Now, you can even notice by yourself, if you make a muscle like this, you can, you can give a good rotation with your elbow. But if you notice, if you turn your hand the other way, you're not able to get that same motion. I know you're trying it right now on your TV and screen. You can try that. But turn your hand the other way. It makes it a lot harder. Same thing involved when you're on here. When I've got this grip, I don't want to just hold his hand flat. I want to rotate it away from his face. I don't want him to see the palm of his hand. And now from here, put the hand down on the ground. And notice how JT's already kind of lifting up because it's already super tight in the bicep. I want to turn it pick his elbow up just a little bit, and then just by the time I've even started to slide, he's already tapped. And you just want to go here and rotate it away. So the basic, basic paintbrush grip is when you're here underneath the head and we have that arm grip, I like to grab in the bicep. Remember, roll the shoulder forward, catch. Once I lock up, I turn his hand away from his face. And by the time I get his hand to the ground, he's already tapping especially the guys with tighter shoulders. And those with looser shoulders, they're going to feel it a lot more. They're not going to be able to do that same, let their arm go all the way over. It's just not going to happen because their body's not going to be built for it. So, check it out a few more times. Just the flex of the wrists. 